All right, so this first part might be a shocker because holy crap, they just come out of nowhere. Okay, you ready for this? What's good, YouTube? You already know what it is. It's your boy, Damien. Yeah. It's your boy. Wow. <laughs> it's gonna be that kind of a video. <laughs> what, how would you feel if I did that to you? And, I'm not gonna dodgy! Lie. I would have to, I, I, would, I would really have to reconsider our friendship. <gasps> no. <laughs> it's a good thing he's married to her. Away, waddle, waddle, waddle. Dude, I used to be obsessed with that. Oh my god. Okay, we're getting off topic. We're here for the Prince family. Why are you giving me nostalgia, people? Like, why are you doing this, Jay Opry? Just remember, everyone has a butthole. Bum, bum, bum! <laughs> like, Wait, what? <laughs> everyone has a butthole. I mean, dude really rewatched his video and said, oh yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's, that's, it. that's it. Posting YouTube. <laughs> But the road to YouTube stardom is a long and treacherous one, often with many moral dilemmas and sacrifices to make along the way. For example, family channels neglect the privacy of their loved ones in exchange for millions of dollars, using a ridiculous degree of clickbait to make their content seem as outrageous and provocative as possible. But what if there was a channel that did all of this and more? A family channel of gross content built on dishonest clickbait who used the health and well-being of their own children as a means to generate absurd seen profit okay how do you feel about that thanks why would you exploit your children for for, for views for, yeah for fame and money like i understand like being in a funny moment and you record it and post it i get that but purposely exploiting your children for money kind of gross yeah agreed even though i went into it expecting the worst it somehow turned out to be even worse than that because all of this drama popped off on twitter this is not harmless content this is just gross i'm not trying to go to jail but... go to jail for what she's 17 she's underage she'll be 18 in some months that is an absolute nope rope no i don't care no i don't care if it's a joke you don't choke about underage what are you guys doing yeah. i uh, what uh, ah! Bruh. <laughs> that is disturbing the hell? That's not, that's not something to <clears throat> joke about. No, that's not. That's not even funny, dude. Okay, moving on. Prince Family is a supposedly family-friendly YouTube channel hosted by Damien and his wife, family Bianca. Family-friendly? Oh, totally family-friendly. Fam totally family-friendly here. After <laughs> that little clip, family-friendly, okay. A hundred percent, yeah. Okay. We're family friendly here. Making a living off such bangers as these. Say what's good. It's not recording. Oh, it is recording. During his late teens, Damien was involved in an altercation that nearly cost him his life when he witnessed his stepdad Marvin going at it with his little brother. While attempting to de-escalate the situation, his brother was hit over the head with a frying pan and Damien was stabbed with a barbecue fork. I feel like he got stabbed with a barbecue fork. I guess you could say he was getting To this day, there still seems to be a little born on March 6, 1997, okay, to her father, a businessman, and her mother, a CPA agent, raised in Fort Wayne alongside six sisters. Thanks. According to her mother, Bianca took pride in her academics, was always a talented student with aspirations of becoming a dentist after graduation. Around her sophomore year of high school, Bianca applied at the only place in town that was hiring, which happened to be a local Little Caesars, exactly where Bianca was about to meet her prince-to-be. She was waiting for her prince to be. Oh, mm -hmm. that's funny. That's good. That's good. <laughs> if she wanted anything give a seven extra, and a half. <laughs> she had to get a job. When she turned 15, the only place in Fort Wayne that was hiring was Little Caesars. Damien met Bianca at work back in 2012 when he was 20 and she was 15. What? What? Um, she was 15? How, 
wait, how old did they say that he was? He was 20, she was 15. He was 20? Wait, Bro! Wait, 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 what? Wait, 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 wait. I don't wait. keep going. Keep going, keep going. Because I need I need to I need to hear what happens after they met. He was 20 and she was 15. Yeah, no, you, you heard that right. So when he's talking in this next clip, just remember he's talking about a child. So you know I'm going on with her, teaching her how to, you know, put the pepperonis on the pizza, talking to her, trying to get her comfortable because I know what I wanted at the time. You know what I'm saying? I was I already had my eye out. Holy cow, that is so much to unpack. She was 15, dude. You're 20. Oh, okay. And and he so he curious. knew it. like I love that he was like I knew what I wanted. Okay, okay, good. But here's my thing. Here's my thing. Not that I'm trying to make excuses uh, 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 uh. for him or anything. Uh, uh, uh. Here's my thing. Uh. I'm curious as to if he like did he know that she was 15 at the he, time. Yes, there is no way. There is no way that he didn't know. There is no way that he didn't know. And here's why: because when a new hire of, of any kind of establishment, whether it's Panera. Caesar's pizza like you can be working at a casino everybody knows everybody's business that is how the workplace works everybody talks about everybody word gets out that is literally the first thing like if you're interested if you think a person is attractive and you want to like date or like see where it goes you're gonna ask that person how old they are bottom line I mean, yeah yeah you're right that's true yeah it's not a big deal when you're older, when you're over 18, but like when you're young, that's a big deal. That is corruption. And like, I feel like in a way, like I don't know her or her family or anything, but like shame on the parents. That was terrible parenting to allow any kind of relationship like that happen. I'm curious to know if, if, if when they dated, did her parents truly allow her to date a man who's like way older than me. Let's let's continue the video and let um find out. Now this little tidbit has remained another point of contention throughout the Prince family community. And even seemed to be a little bit of an upset within the family, at least judging by what her mom has to say here. And I'm like, no, nope, that's too, you know, that's too many years. I don't approve of it. I want you to live life. Ain't nothing that they want at that age other than something that I don't want to think my child, you know, having or being in a relationship or anything like that. What is the same thing? The way I feel for somebody. So I didn't really care how she felt, to be honest. There's been a lot of things that have happened over the years of them being together that I've had a hard time dealing with. But at the end of the day, I love my daughter and I want her happy and I will respect the decisions that she makes. The mom didn't really want this for her daughter, but her daughter, obviously, like every every young girl, every young girl is like rebellious against her mother because we're like, girl, you don't know what you're talking about. Like, well, why he loved me? Well, whatever, whatever. It doesn't even matter. Um, but he knew that answer. Like for me, that answers my your question of. Did he know how old she was? I'm not going to speak for her, but I feel like, you know, it was in a way like un unintentional manipulation. Like he knew what he wanted. He got her. You know what I mean? Like the fact that you had somebody mm, that was like, is that interested. really considered on it? Would that be considered unintentional if he knew? It's very easy to manipulate somebody. It's very easy, like, especially like young minds. It, it is possible that she could have been um blinded by the fact that she had a good looking man who was very attracted to her um and it messes with young girls minds because like you know we're not thinking of the consequences of anything and i'm sure he was probably cute funny he had like he had like every intention of like you know being with this girl and like really caring about her so her her mother's concerns were like legit but like she kind of got lucky in the sense that like that wasn't like all that he wanted, I guess, if that makes sense. And then that's when I was just like, hey. Bro, that's total hey. creep. 
That is so creep. But a friend's house, chatted in a parked car, and from there, the relationship began to flourish. I was in a, I was messing with like 23 girls at the time. I, I was talking to Bianca from time to time, and I started talking to another girl, then another. And me and Bianca, we was like on and off, on and off. Once the girl Damien was living with found out about Bianca, he was kicked out of her apartment and left with nowhere else to live. Not to mention Little Caesars catching wind of this little rendezvous and subsequently relocating Damien to a new location where he couldn't be around her. Probably for the best, considering the yeah. obvious age gap, but it wouldn't yeah. be forever. <laughs> considering the time Bianca lied to her parents about staying with her biological dad over the holiday break and opting to stay with Damien during the break instead. She stayed at my house. We was getting it in. You know what I'm saying? We was doing our- Gross. Did not need to know that. Thank you. She was still 15. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at me <laughs> getting it in with a 15 year old. Like, oh, kudos geez. to you for being a can't say it on YouTube. But you know what you are. This 22-year-old Damien got 17-year-old Bianca pregnant not long after, to which Little Caesars responded by firing Damien on the spot. Now, more than ever, he needed a sustainable way to support his new family. No, you don't. How do I not love you? Damien, I sat here and catfished you. Her acting? terrible <laughs> with all the money that you could spend you could probably like use some acting classes like i mean why not like it, you have so much money you could burn you could just spend right so like why don't like why don't, why don't you just like hone in on your skills and you know get some acting classes yeah, man, it's not hard. it'll make it more convincing i guess so i feel like i have to just say this right now i know we're like we're like mocking and poking fun a little bit uh for any viewers that we do have that are watching uh we do not you know we're not telling people like go send these people hate don't don't send them like we're not about that so do not send them any kind of like hate nothing like this is just us observing uh a <laughs> clown we're, we're just observing clowns like i feel like they're clowns in a way um they're making their money the way that they know how and good for them for making it. But it's like, in a way, it's like in a, uh, I couldn't do it. I couldn't, I couldn't make myself look that ridiculous. What are you doing over there? <laughs> I totally didn't just grab a snack while you're talking. Oh, I see. I see. So you grabbed a snack without me. What are you, what are you eating? A zebra cake. You? Back. In retrospect, it's very hard to gauge how real some of this was. Because if it was fake, they did a great job of making it seem authentic. Wait, what if they took my advice from earlier where they got acting skills? Because I said that, that their acting was terrible and now their acting got better because they went and they got the classes. Man, that, I put it out there and they got the acting classes. Good for them because they needed to up their game on the acting because it was garbage good for you guys i'm glad that you took those acting classes i've been staying in this you know one bed small you know little motel hotel thing i have a full-size bed i have both of my boys with me sometimes i'm tired of all the you know the cameras in my face sometimes i just want time to me and damien Either way, fans were left forced to pick a side in a bizarre, uncomfortably publicized spat between two troubled lovers. Bianca finally expressing a desire to reconnect with Damien as long as it was off camera, and that the two would spend some time away from YouTube. But after Damien brought a camera to their meeting and vlogged what was supposed to be a private, personal heart-to-heart, -heart, she stormed off and began considering other options. The two eventually met up again at their channel manager's house, where Bianca accused Damien of putting the channel before her and their family, as he let the desire for fame take away from what was really important. Damien retaliating by saying he only put so much into YouTube because he wanted the best for his family, for them to have a luxurious and comfortable life. Bianca seemed to understand, and they came to an agreement that they'd stay together as long as Damien did a better job of prioritizing the family. I need to leave because I don't want to do it. I'm not talking to my son. No, I'm going to interrupt you. You can it's clearly still staged. This is not even good acting here. Like, okay, I take it back. They didn't get good acting classes. Like, they only did it for that one time. The little glass window behind them, that's not even real. Why not do what I do? 
Oh, I, I love those guys. Age of consent. State by state guide. All right, guys. So this is how we about to be doing this, man. We about to be guessing these females' age, mm -hmm. okay? If you get it right, you get to move on. You get to, you get a pass. Yep. If you get it wrong, if you get it wrong. What's gonna happen? You're gonna get pied in the face with this whipped cream. Isn't that weird? Like, is that just me? One, the Prince family uploaded the video that arguably put them on the map for people like me or anyone who may not watch family channels regularly, primarily thanks to this winning thumbnail and title combination. While I shouldn't have to point out the obvious, the Zam she's 12 thumbnail paired with this unsavory reaction made the rounds on Twitter and Reddit as a meme. The photo of the 12 year old girl being replaced with any given random haha -ha funny image. <laughs> Thankfully, the original girl in the thumbnail wasn't actually 12, but that's not to say there weren't any underage girls involved in the video as we watch Bianca and Damien guess the age of random girls photos and get almost all of them wrong. What? <gasps> 14? Lips look very plump. <gasps> oh my God. I mean, considering his past, like, duh, it's no wonder that he would guess the wrong age for any minor. Yeah. Let's just be real. Oh! I don't think I- Did I get one person right? Only one? I'll answer that for you. The answer is no. Comment down below. What's the legal age where you are? It don't matter if you live in the U.S., out the country, what city. What is the legal age where you from? No matter where- Oh, yeah, because, like, he wouldn't know what the yeah, legal he age- He wouldn't know anything about that. He wouldn't know what the legal age of consent is. Of course not. Of course he wouldn't. Where is it at in the world? Comment down below right now. And just flat out not knowing the age of consent in America, which again, it, we, we already knew he didn't know that. You know, the females <laughs> nowadays, yeah. they can be super young, but look super old. Yeah, you know what I'm true. saying? That doesn't mean nothing. That means nada, dude. That doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter if she looks like she's 22, but she's 14. That is disgusting and you're a pig. Matter of fact, what is the legal age of consent in the United States? Bro, like, for real. Like, he, like, what? What is, what is the legal age of consent? Are you freaking, are you kidding me right now? Are you, like, you're a troll. You're a troll. How dare you? This video is already horrible, but they go the extra mile in making it even worse by calling each girl they review a victim. Oh. All right, guys, victim number three. Our next wow. victim. Wow! Oh, victim number four. You know what? We're gonna do one more victim. One more? This is our last victim, guys, because- Why? Why are they, like, victim? Like, what? <laughs> That's so, oh my God, that is so disgusting. That is predatory in, it, in, in its entirety. They are disgusting people, I'm sorry. We struggling right now. Where do they even get these pictures, dare I ask? Damien even has the gall to comment on a girl's cleavage who he correctly guessed was 15 years old. Of course he would know that, right? He would totally know that age. All right guys, so our next victim, this girl, she got her cleavage out. <laughs> I think she's 15. I'm gonna say she's uh, 16. Yeah! Let's go! Wow, look at the happiness. The happiness yeah, within yeah. his soul. This is disgusting. All right, guys, I've about had enough of this in its entirety. You guys get the picture. This is disgusting. This is like, in my opinion, this is not good. <laughs> I mean, this is good content in itself, uh, being on YouTube. Great, it's great for like other people to like examine, I guess, but this is just, this is sad. This is disgusting and to exploit young women, I, no, I'm, I'm over that entirely. Uh, Joker, do you have any last words for this video and this family? Like, I wanna say that this family is terrible. They are disgusting. And, and if I'm being honest, it's just my opinion. I feel like anybody who actually enjoys the content they put out knowing that it's fake, I feel like you're also garbage. Um, yeah. I just, I feel like, I feel like people like drama and, and this is a good, uh, good content for like drama. Like, so like, you know, there are people that love the fat acceptance kind of drama. There are people that like other kind of hater kind of like dramas. Um, some people like Nikocavo avocados, like drama, um, or, uh, f what, Foodie Beauty or, um, Amber Lynn. Like, there's, there's a kind of niche for every type of person. But me yeah. personally, I would take any one of those videos, any one of those content creators over this 
content creator, this family, because I do not believe in exploiting young women um, and exploiting children, children. children in, in general. Like, I, I just don't agree. Like, what do you guys feel? Leave a comment down below. Like, do you think that this is okay? Like, do you think that YouTube should even allow that? I mean, it it is what it is guys no matter what i mean they're gonna do what they are gonna do they're gonna make their money the way that they know how to make their money so kudos to them for doing it i don't know um me personally though like i would not exploit my family this way i would not want to exploit children whether they are mine or not ultimately like this is a toxic kind of program and i personally cannot get behind but you know to each his own with that being said guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video give me a like leave a comment down below subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed and i will see you again next time i love you don't forget your boobs <laughs>